Welcome to CWNN 78 News. And the first story we will have for you tonight is Jasmine with an environmental story. Hi, my name is Jasmine Gotts from CWNN 78 News. And I'm here to tell you about chemical trails. Chemical trails are a pollution to our atmosphere caused by aircrafts. They um, are toxic to our oxygen and that's all I have to say. Back to you, Joseph. And next up, we have Peace with a local story. Hi, my name is Peace, and I'm here to share a tragic local story. Three people died and four were injured on the night of March 29th during a car crash near Caledonia. Ontario Provincial Police said that a passenger van carrying seven people and a car collided shortly after 9 p.m. on Highway 6. The lone person in the car, a 21-year-old man, died along with two girls, a 12- and 14-year-old. Police said that no names will be mentioned until relatives were notified. An Ontario Provincial Police said that one vehicle was traveling southbound while the other was traveling northbound during the collision. And I pray that the four that were injured get better. And back to you, Joseph. Thank you. And finally, we have Rosaki with a world news story. Um, thank you, Joseph. My name is Rosaki. Um, on March 28, 2017, um, a group of scientists discovered um, a dinosaur footprint, not just any dinosaur footprint, but um, the biggest dinosaur footprint. Um, it was located on um, um, Aust Western Australia. Um, the footprint is thought to be measured between 1.7 meter or 5 feet 0.9 inches. Um, around the area, scientists also discovered um, other tracks that um, could be from around 21 different types of dinosaur. And scientists say that that's like a very diverse collection. Um, thank you. Um, back to you, Joseph. And that is all for tonight. Thank you for watching and have a great night, Hamilton. Hi, welcome back to Live in Action. I'm Francesca Martinez, and I'm here today with Allison, Dante, and Jaquan. Hi. 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 We're here today to talk about the debate on bringing cell phones to school and keeping them home, whether or not it is a distraction or otherwise. Allison? So honestly, people say cell phones shouldn't be brought to school, but cell phones are great uses. Like, cell phones could be used for searching things up um honestly <laughs> they can be used for many things and the reason i'm laughing is because when people say cell phones shouldn't be brought to school i ask them well how do you get in contact with people do you use your phones how do you search things up you use your phones and other wise boys well i'm gonna have to disagree on that because Cell phones are not the only source of finding information. You can use books. You can use iPads, computers. <laughs> All this other stuff that are used at school. But many schools don't have that money. Well, I find it unnecessary that we bring phones to school. Because nowadays, people are walking into hallways with phones in their faces. It's easier for them to crash into people without even knowing. That is a good point. But also, people banning phones from school, they might as well say, let's ban computers, and let's ban iPads, and everything else, any technology. Because basically, the later we get in the years, the more technology that are be being brought in. Unless we're going back to 19-something, then we need our phones. Not only do we need it to contact people who are in trouble, 
or anything like that, to search up something, to get something for school. People say cyberbullying with phones. Well, teachers can prevent that. Teachers don't ever go out of their way to go. Uh, let me jump into this. Okay, so, sure, we had an assembly about cyberbullying, right? Yep. But what those people don't get the message? They still do it. Well, Even, hey, wait, let me finish. They still do it no matter what because they think it's cool. They think it's easier for them to just talk, talk smack about people on the phone and send to their face. But teachers don't really get into class talking about the consequences, anything about that, no. Teachers will say, okay, students, no cyberbullying today. That's why there's a reason why we ban phones from schools. Even if there was a meeting, students could do it behind teachers' backs without them knowing. But if students have their phone and see other students say, I don't know, say, have you ever watched Girl Meets World? No. Okay, well, whatever. So if someone's bullying someone, they could leg if someone has their phone and they could check up on that, they could legit tell the teacher right there and then. Okay, if cell phones were banned from school, do you think it would make a difference? No. Because students will still sneak their cell phones. All right, so clearly this hasn't been decided at all, and no cases have been majority rules you guys both have great answers and we are sorry we have to wrap it up now thank you for being a guest on live in action i am francesca martinez signing out